for that spot. Look at the We're moving on to our final one, all right? Chargers and Texans. The big story was the Texans upsetting the Chargers and essentially bouncing them out of the playoff picture um, at this point in time. Uh, why'd you choose this play, Brian? Well, uh, as we said, we were trying to figure out how the Texans were able to beat the Chargers. And actually, this play, I don't think, shows really exactly why it happened. Uh, I think the answer is mostly that they just could not stop Rex Burkhead for whatever reason. You know, con controlling the it. clock, limiting limiting um, possession for Justin Herbert on that offense, you know, and then um, not capitalizing on their chances. Uh, the Chargers uh, turned the ball over tw uh, three times, uh, a fumble they lost, and uh, Herbert threw two picks, and we're going to look at one of those picks right now. All right, so let's take a look at that uh, situation. Uh, what's going on right here? Uh, Chargers are up 12 to 10. Four minutes, eight seconds left in the first half. Uh, and yeah, it is first and 10. The Chargers are on there uh, between the four, uh, the Texans 40 and 39 yard line. If you want to watch the original video in its uh, pure form, Chargers versus Texans week 16 highlights. Five minutes, 21 seconds is when it starts. So let's take a uh, let's jump to that and make sure the uh, Screen changed, and here we go. Down and 10 from the 39. Play fake. Herbert setting up to go deep. He's got Palmer down there, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Jonathan Owens. His first career interception. Yikes. That's bad. That bad. That's yeah, bad. not a good decision. I, I mean, I... I guess a little bit of – it's definitely a trust thing that he trusted Josh Palmer in that in one-on-one -on -one coverage, but well played. Well well played by the Texans secondary uh, mm -hmm. guy. All right, so what are we looking at for personnel and all that jazz? Uh, 11 personnel, trips bunch to the uh, right side of the formation, um, and then it's a cover – it's a, tri a trips bunch, 11 personnel – uh, ends up becoming a max protect play action um, deep shot, and then uh, it's the four two five classic nickel cover three to uh, combat this. And I think the biggest issue that I have with this play is Herbert's decision, and then not too far after that is um, Staley's obsession with max protect two routes deep shots. Right. And it, and it finally came back to bite them. It's it, they've shown it several times. It's actually when I watched this clip the first time, I was like, oh, you ran this again. I don't like limiting how many options my quarterback has out in the field to throw to. I have a big problem with that. The biggest thing I have about that is you are committing too much to something that probably shouldn't be that big of an issue anyways. Pass protection. Justin Herbert is mobile enough, athletic enough to make things out of nothing, get out of the pocket, make a play out of structure, right? It, it's the new style quarterback. We just watched it. Patrick Mahomes, literally this episode, we just watched this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anytime that you bring in a, 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 another backer or another wide receiver or another offensive lineman just to be a blocker, I have issues with that because I'd rather rely on my – playmakers to get open and have my future $250 million quarterback, you know, I kind of trust him to be the one making the big play and he tries to make a big play here, but it's in a situation where I don't know what else he was supposed to. Yeah. He probably should have just scrambled, right? It's first down. Okay, cool. But I also don't want people to, to beat up on Herbert too much when this is a clearly a Texan staff was ready for this. Right. You, you're you're going to sell out on the pass protection and try and take the deep shot on a rollout. And it be everyone saw this coming, I think. The second he took his ball and started rolling to the right, we knew, okay, here comes the deep shot. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. It's it's become a little – it's definitely become a little predictable. But, yeah. I mean, big kudos to this David – you know, David Colley's defense here in Houston. We just talked, you know, well, the episode drops tomorrow. Right, tomorrow? Yeah, but we, you know, big kudos to to the Texans. They're playing up right now, right? They're playing up. It, this defense is playing good. They've won just as we've made this point. This will be the second time, technically, but third time overall. 
Uh, about Houston's team, they've won right now at this point as many games this year as they have they did last year with Deshaun Watson. So uh, Texans are playing up, and I really, really like that these guys are playing for their coach. Uh, not that Cully's job is under risk. I really don't think it is. Um, these guys have way out uh, outperformed what we expect them to be. I believe you and I predict them to go like winless or like one or two wins this year, and uh, Houston's done very, very well for themselves. But yeah, I mean to to, to do what they just did against Justin Herbert, uh, very impressive. So let's uh, let's start to slowly break it down. All right, it's good. I like the little head nod. I never noticed really noticed it before. Herbert's like looking at both sides like real quick, like a bobblehead. Before he sets the ball off, but there's your fake um, linebackers committed, right? Let me know where to pause. Let me know where to pause. Well, I wanted to watch it one time through again just because I wanted to make sure that it was only two guys in the rounds, and it is. Okay. There's only two guys out. And they're kind of working on the same level. So let's pause it right there. All okay. Right. First off, I think that is atrocious play action. That was weak as we can be. Uh, yeah, some of the guys trailed that way, but I think that's actually more to do with the fact that you committed six guys to blocking. You know what I mean? So they're already that those guys already probably have their assignments, and you just committed one of them to the off or to protect on the offensive line. So that guy really doesn't have anywhere to go. Uh, the other thing that I'm noticing right now is. I don't see anyone on the left side at all, which is kind of unique because um, you would think that you could find a, a shorter route to the left side when you're rolling to the right. Instead, what he's doing is rolling right and throwing a deep left. Um, but that's just a preference thing. So let's let's roll for a quick sec again. And pause. All right. How long was that, Matt? In real time, what do you think? From from snap until this moment right now. Snap until this moment, probably three, four seconds at the absolute tops. Okay. Um, we, we want our offensive linemen to block for as close to three seconds as possible. So, basically, you brought in an extra blocker and kept a running back in to buy yourself an extra second for what? You're getting rid of the ball in in three to four seconds, no matter how many guys you have blocking. You know, you you no good play ever, it, unless some guys scrambling like crazy, like Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson. You know, then stretching the plays out like that. But I'm saying like a normal scripted play, your your guys should be getting this play executed in under six to seven seconds right. from 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 snap to catch to tackle. You know, it is normally the average play in the NFL is around seven seconds. So I, I that's the biggest thing I have with this play, I guess, right now is it's just not committing enough guys to being available to make a play. And the other thing is he's throwing deep in the cover three. There's nothing that happened from the snap to when he's about to throw this ball that should, would, would say that those safeties have any reason to not be where they were at the snap. Right. So it, it, that, the play, the he like no one got fooled by the play action, no. so fail number one. Your eleven, Remember? yeah, your eleven personnel is still standing there trying to block block three guys for you, right, right now. Your your yep. your running back and your like like Brian said, your running back, your tight end, uh, your extra blocker, all just standing there looking yep. silly. Uh, when you could have a guy, you know, a little safety valve. Everybody's deep right now for the Chargers. Everybody's deep, and everybody's very well covered. So we got three there. So that means there's. You know, three there, two here. So we have everybody's covered in the back. Yeah, that's six six people, six people covering three, three receivers, <laughs> three receivers. Yeah, yeah, awful, awful play design. I mean, I guess you know he's made this play before. I mean, I guess in a way, you know, if it's Mike Williams, you know, I'm gonna take the the the. Deep shot. I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna let him go make a play, but he doesn't put it up there. No. Uh, the the underneath cornerback or safety here is able to easily make the play on the ball here, um, and I also don't like how close the receivers ended up being to each other. Right. So you didn't you didn't utilize the field, and you didn't you didn't give yourself a chance, um, especially on first down, to just keep the momentum of the drive going because the the 
play before this was a good play. It was a good handoff, a good run. And then, you know, I thought they were more than willing to take a chance. But, you know, Herbert is, is still got this gunslinger mentality. He's made big plays like this all season. It's kind of what he's known for right now. So he leaned on it, and this time it caught him. This time he, they made him pay because he's thrown into the teeth of the defense, and they were more than willing to, you know, come down with the ball because Justin Herbert had no reason to throw it. He just is. He just has no business throwing this ball. This is. I didn't think he would be this guy again, but he is. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. Bad decision making. I still think highly of him, but he had a very bad. Oh, decision. he's gonna be great, but you know, I, I was hoping that this game would be, yet another example of Herbert taking the step, moving on, right, being one of the top five, ish guys. No, I concur. I concur. I, yeah, I thought that. I mean, not a single one of us picked the Texans to win in our pick'em. Not Why would even, you? Right. Understandably so. Right. Yeah. Not uh. Not good. Not good. Yikes. Yeah, I don't get yeah. it. I don't get it. Oy vey. Well, everybody, that is our final film study play. 319! 319! Hut! 3-3? Yeah, spot. Look at the 